Hey guys, Tech Crunch, welcome to video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's not charging, won't charge, or you simply can't get it to connect to a power source and it's just staying at the same percentage. Now, there's many reasons why your iPhone won't charge or doesn't charge for you, and we're going to walk you through all those steps. And hopefully, by the end of the video, your iPhone is charging again, it's working as it should. So, the very first thing whenever you're having this issue with your iPhone charging is that you have to keep in mind that the ideal optimal temperature for your iPhone it should be between 32 to 95 degrees temperature that's in Fahrenheit now if you're in extreme cold or extreme hot weather the charging might be stopped by the software in order to prevent damages so keep that in mind now after if you keep in mind of that and keeping your phone at ideal temperature the next thing you want to do with your iPhone is doing a force restart so how do you do a force restart it's really simple you're gonna press and release the volume up press and release the volume down one after another so volume up volume down and then finally hold the big side button on your right hand side until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears and at that time you'll let go of that button so I'm gonna do volume up volume down and then I hold the side button just like that and I'm just gonna keep on holding here I'm not going to slide to power off because that'll just be a normal shutdown I'm gonna keep on holding that button until the screen shows the Apple logo for me and then I let go of that button and we have done a force restart which is the most simplest and the easiest way to fix any sort of software related issue impacting your phone and this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone and hopefully by now your phone can charge now if you're still having an issue now the next thing you want to consider is actually the charger cable that you're using so i recommend if you have a uh, if you can first use a different outlet so if you have a charger cable right take it to a different outlet try that first step just to ensure that the outlet maybe you're charging sometimes those outlets can trip or simply not work so go ahead try a different outlet next thing you want to try is if you have a different cable right so you want to try a different cable so you want to next thing is to troubleshoot right you have two parts to a charger so you want to try a different cable so the cable is this part sometimes what happens with these cables are they get damaged and easily stripped or simply bent and they don't work they're not the greatest cable i've seen sometimes these cables are very easily defective try a different cable and also if you can try a different block for the wall adapter sometimes these things also can become defective because over time things break and you want to rule out that it's not the outlet the charger cable actually or the wall adapter those are three things to kind of check out an alternative to that is that let's say you have issue maybe with the charge port try using a wireless charger and this will work for iphone 8 and above because they have the ability to do wireless charging so if you have a wireless charger handy go ahead and try charging it by simply laying it down laying it both ways as well basically you want to make a contact on the back here so that it is working for you now let's say you did that and it's still not working what else can you do well the next thing you want to try is cleaning out your charge port and the reason why you want to do that is because over time dust lint debris can build up in that charge port from just moving your phone around from here to there from your pocket and whatever the case may be if you have another flashlight or another device what you can also do is turn that on check it with a flashlight to ensure that there is no build up and then if you have a, uh, something gentle like a small pick or something something that won't damage your charge port just simply wiggle around see if you can get any of that dust lint debris out so that when you charge put it on charge the connection actually goes through and there's no issue with that so that's going to be one of the top reasons we see a lot of times iPhones don't charge is because there's a buildup of dust and the metal connection doesn't happen so clean it out really good now after you have done that it's still not working and this is going to be for people who want to charge past 80 percent let's say you're at 80 percent and stop what you need to check in your settings here is under your battery health and charging if you go to your charging optimization here this is on the iphone 15 lineup there's a limit for 80 percent so oh, if you're limiting your phone or having optimized charging it's going to slow down after 80% and it might not actually charge. So if you have either of the top two settings, 
you might not see the phone charge after it hits 80% or so. So you can try the none option. And if you have a phone that doesn't have that optimized charging, like a phone like this one here, on the old, older phone beside the iPhone 15, if you go into your settings, you'll notice your optimized charging. Recommend turning that off and then seeing if that helps with your charging as well. Now let's say you did that and still not working. What else can you do? Well, the next thing you want to try to do is this is going to be if you have enough battery left on your phone, which usually is you need at least 50% or more. See if you can update your phone by going to your settings, general software update, with the latest update. And if you can update your phone, because sometimes when you get a previous update, it might have caused some sort of software glitch bug or something that broke and it's not charging. And if you can, sometimes you can even, if you can't update it here, try using a computer if you can plug it into your computer and see if it charges it through your computer. And if you have iTunes, you can try to update it through that, which we discuss in another video if you want to check that out. Uh, finally, if none of these working, it's time to do a reset of all the settings by going to your settings, general, all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on the first option for reset. And then all the reset that we want to do is reset all settings. And this will reset all settings like network related settings. If you have saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connected devices, you'll have to reconnect again. Uh, it will delete, it will not delete your eSIM card, but it will reset your keyboard dictionary, home screen layout. If you have custom layout, any reset, also any location privacy setting. But it's important to do this reset, which will not delete any of your personal data. So all your photos, videos, apps will still be there. It will reset the setting so that the phone is back to the optimal setting and hopefully your charging is working. And that's it for all the troubleshooting tips that we have. Most likely if it's not working at this point and you tried all of this, your phone could have actual internal damage to the actual charge port. In that case, you need to get a professional to diagnostic like an Apple repair store or get it diagnosed properly so they can see if it's what hardware related issue your phone has. So I hope this video was helpful in terms of fixing your iPhone to charge. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Also leave a comment if you found a better way to fix this issue in the comment section for everyone to see. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.